As a camera channel in search of the perfect camera, I've survived many an assassination attempt. First, it was the Sony a7S III with their fancy specs and their full frame. It was nice, but I lived on to talk about there could be better things in the pipeline. DJI has shots fired in my direction, tried to create the perfect camera, Pocket 3, freaking one inch sensor. Everything about it seems perfect. I found a couple flaws though. My channel isn't ruined. You don't know that it is, but what? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So the DJI Pocket 3 has been announced. I was rudely kept out of the fan club. Free muffins, apparently. Did I get offered one? No. Here's the reality that faces our industry with this release. In my opinion, the Pocket 3 has completely debunked every one inch sensor compact from the top two companies, Canon and Sony. You have completely re-evolutionized the ZV-1, completely useless now. The ZV-1 Mark II, a downgrade from the ZV-1, let's not even talk about it. We're talking 4K 38-bit, this little tiny pocket thing with a gimbal doing 10-bit log laughing at you with 4K 120p. You think a ZV-1 is going to be sold now? Or a 2? Or an F? No. The Canon G7X lineup type of thing? They don't even put dual pixel autofocus in the thing. To get stabbed, you gotta crop in. We're talking uncropped, gimbal freak footage. One inch sensor with a low megapixel count? You're singing my song. Freaking thing on paper? Perfection. Comparing to the DJI Action 4 or the GoPro 12, those are tinier sensors that actually have to crop into those tiny sensors to get stabbed. You're not in focus at handheld distance. Kind of debunking you as well. You're actually reaching into mirrorless territory debunking lower end cameras like the Nikon Z30 with no stabe, 4K 38 bit. This thing is killing the Nikon Z30 and all of its fake pretender Z50 ZFC cameras that were all the same thing anyway. Canon, what do you have in the vlogosphere? Like your little R50 or something? You do nothing for anybody. The R8? Full frame. Wow. No stabe. 4K 120? No. Little puck does it. All I'm saying here, on paper, this little pocket camera that could actually fit in a pocket, at least a side pocket, a jacket coming to near you soon. There's nothing that even compares to it, and I'm embarrassed that I don't own one or was sent one for free to review. The only thing saving Sony right now is they actually have a Zeiss lens in the ZV-1 series, so you'll get some 3D pop, the T-Star coating, Pocket 3. What are you gonna do? Like, you have a cheap lens, it's not known for any, like, wow, that's got some character, a vintage lens on there? Like, what are even the specs? How many elements? It's tiny. So, like, that's the one thing you could say. No 3D pop in the action, boy. Wow. Look at my giant camera setup shadow. Oh, that is cinematic, huh? Dangerous vlogging. I'll leave. Just a little side rant before we get into the flaws of this thing. There's a couple. A DJI rep reached out to me saying, let's collab. We love your work. We'll send you something for free next time. I'm like, okay, let's do this. Can't wait. So they offer me a drone. I say, not really into drones. I'm more waiting for the Action 4 and the Pocket 3. So count me in. He's like, okay, we'll see you soon, buddy. Action 4 was released. I was like, left out completely. I asked the guy, I was like, what happened to that? I thought we were in here. He's like, oh, sorry, we didn't have enough units. Basically, you suck, and we didn't want you to have it yet. I'll send it to you now. I was like, no thanks. I already have one. Someone else bought one for me. You suck. You're the one that sucks. So it's like, just keep me in mind for the Pocket 3. He's like, will do, buddy. Here it is announced. I just, I don't understand what I did wrong. He reached out to me and then completely ignores me for every review. What, why did you talk to me in the first place is all I'm asking. Don't date me without buying me flowers first. So like, whatever, 
we're never getting it. When it comes to things that people aren't really talking about, the only flaw that I can find in this thing is that it has an internal battery that might get cooked hard because you cannot replace that thing. So once that thing dies, although this has never been a problem for any of my cameras, I've never had a battery die on me, except the third-party Panasonic battery, it swelled up. Don't ever buy third-party anything. When it comes to this battery, you get a little battery pack, but it's constantly charging the original. I'm just theorizing that that might go wrong in seven years or something. I'm just throwing that out there. But like, hot damn, you got a nice little battery pack. I don't think you even need two of them. I think that one pack is going to be enough for like several days worth of footage. But if you do want two of them, prices start creeping. Did that do anything? Hair light. Piece of hair shit. So separated from the background. We're on the Blackmagic OG, by the way, like a 25mm 1.4. Now, this seemingly perfect camera does not come without a cost. Here's the thing that is weird. The Creator Bundle versus the regular, you don't get all the things you need in the Creator Bundle, and it's much more expensive. So what, you, what I would do, personally, I buy the regular one, 519 US. You buy the Mist Filter for $49 we'll get to you a $69 battery you debate getting two I think you should just get one $18 little extender pack that allows you to clip onto a backpack we'll get to that and a $13 tripod thing so like all these extras you're ending up spending 668 US or 737 if you want two batteries that all weighs 330 grams. It's a hefty little chunk, but it's still lighter than any mirrorless. It's like a GoPro in its cage with the audio adapter. Similar. It's just the form factor is long. Nobody likes long things. They prefer short and thin. Now, I don't even want to know what that would cost in Canada because if you just... Like, say, oh, that much in Canadian, it would be, like, roughly a thousand, but there's always weird custom fees that comes with way more than just a currency conversion. We're talking probably at 12 hundo, I think. It's pricey for a little thing that can only do one thing, basically, vlogging. You could do YouTube studio stuff, but you're not going underwater. Have I ever even been underwater? I shower sometimes. Or like wildlife, no. So it's like it's vlog only. That's expensive. So there's a lot of little accessories that you kind of have to buy because when I vlog, I like to put it on my backpack clip and then move on. And then if I see something or feel like vlogging another clip, I pull it out and start vlogging. And then back it goes. With this, the tripod screws at the bottom so like you would have this long extending thing that would probably kill you you might poke someone's eye out or it would just like the leverage on it is not right a long thing sticking out straight it's like bouncing so like you have to buy this little accessory that adds 40 grams and is money as well and is not even in stock yet so you can't even order it yet so it's like that thing allows you to put the backpack clip thing on the back and then, okay, you can put it on. So there's solutions. It's just, are these things ready? Like the mist filter is not ready yet. So like, are you impatient? You're going to order it now through my affiliate links and then realize, oh, I can't get that yet. And then you're paying extra shipping when it does happen. It's just little things like that. There are a lot of little things that you need to make this work. It's not an all-in-one like a Sony X3000 should be one little thing. X4000, one day, never. We still have no 3.5 mil mic jack. For you like morons who are like, Bluetooth is safe, don't worry. You have this DJI mic too. Oh yeah, I'll just clip it right onto my nipples. What's this pain I'm experiencing? Oh, can't be related to my mic. How come I have a tumor now? That's, that's fine, it's nothing.
put it in my throat. Oh no, I can't absorb iodine anymore. What happened? So like everybody's all thrilled with their Bluetooth mic. That's not an option for me. I want a 3.5 mil mic jack. That's all we need. A little lav mic, boom. Cords are good. So like we can't even do that. So you have to have a USB-C mic or a dongle. It's doable. That's what I do on the Action 4. It's not even that hard. There's no reason to complain, but whatever. It's a thing that should just be there. A 3.5 mil mic jack. All the good mics have that. We haven't switched over to USB-C everything. I don't want your totalitarian world. The biggest deal breaker, and thank you some of the YouTubers for mentioning this, 4K 120p cannot be shot in log. Or 10-bit, I think. Don't quote me on that. So, like, my Action 4 does it fine. Why? Tiny little body, I can shoot 4K 120p 10-bit log. Now on the Pocket 3, I have to go from regular nice dynamic range footage and then switch over to slow-mo that's crazy over-sharpened with no dynamic range and it's regular colors and it's... So like, that's a deal-breaking flaw for some. It still looked fine. It looked damn good, actually. Better than my Action 4 with a log. So, whatever. Stupid complaint, but... Why? Why is that? Will a firmware come? And can we lower the sharpness? I haven't heard anybody mention that. I hate you all so much. In the Action 4, I can lower sharpness minus 2, and then boom. Some of you reviewers are like, normal, sharpened plus 7. It just looks so bad. It's like, it can look nice. And most of the mist filter reviews are like a 10 second clip. Why wasn't that on the whole time? That should be what gets rid of the digital look. So like, will that look nice? And the biggest flaw to that, in my opinion, you're gonna want the mist. Some are saying it's a bit too strong. They should have probably did a glimmer glass instead and like a less strength, but you cannot put it away in the case with the thing on still. That was the biggest annoyance about the DJI Pocket 2. You had the wide angle lens and then like putting it in the case like, oh, sorry, I have to take that off put that in a case and then close the thing down that's so dumb so like every time you want to bring it out to vlog you take it out oh shit where's the case you gotta take that off i mean the filter oh fingerprints uh oh whoopsie put it on that's so stupid why can't it fold away with the mist filter on or the wide angle adapter and you can't use them both at the same time by the way you pick one or the other that hurts I switched from a lamp to a tube light for cinematic effect. So like on paper, this thing's kind of exciting. In my opinion, it's 2020 specs. A7S III did it. It's cool that you can now do it in a smaller sensor. But we still have the same thing. We're not upgrading and getting more than an A7S III can do. It's just much smaller. We're shrinking down good specs to tiny and much more stable. That's nice. Cheaper, lighter, everything. Yeah, I'm with you. Like, am I looking to upgrade? It's I get the same 4K 120p and HD 240 in my Action 4 and the GoPro. Is there a reason? Like a bigger sensor? I don't know. It's a lot of money. And it's a lot of different things, a lot of little accessories. I don't know, I'm not one to pounce on new things that are just, oh wow, I must have that, I must upgrade. You already had your Pocket 2 and you're like, oh, Pocket 3. And then you have like seven of them. There's only three versions, how could you? Math isn't my strong suit. The point is, be patient, you hobo bitch. Relax for a second. Use what you have for a while actually do something with it do something nice and then maybe one day you see one on the used market and then he bought all the accessories and you're like wow you're selling that together as a pack how much for just the, the little extender pack you're not selling a separate so it's a cool release well done would love to review it if this was mostly positive wasn't it i could have been singing the praises but no that one guy emailed the wrong ass me he didn't include me in his own thoughts. Why did you talk to me? You asked me out. You took me nowhere. You stood me up at the prom. 
I'm sad. Whatever, I'll live. So, affiliate links are available for some of the things, not all the accessories. You can't even find them on Amazon. You gotta buy directly from DJI. B&H doesn't have all the stuff. When will they come in stock? Why aren't they all in stock right now? I don't get it. I'll leave. How you doing? You subscribing for more videos? Yeah.